Okay, Google, pause. Okay, so hey, what's going on? This is EJ Uno. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? We've been literally so busy. Um, I've been working, taking care of my daughter, being a single father. Uh, that's how I do. And if you can look at her Christmas gifts and everything that she's been having and everything. Uh, yeah, I've been busy doing all that stuff. And I had to cover it up so she won't know what it is. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> yeah, that's for your... Um, that's for Israel. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been busy, you know, just being a... Like I said, being a single father, you know, I stress that to the point where it's just like, it's just me and her, call her my day one, and um, yeah, me and her just been, you know, I've the day in the life with me is just like getting up, going to work, coming back, um, thinking of new ideas to do for YouTube, you know, forgive me if I take so long um, uploading a video. I'm in the mix of everybody been giving me like good feedback and telling me new things to do. So, you know, I'm going to start doing those new things and, you know, I'm going to get on my grind of doing the pranks and uh, doing some monkey app that she said do and everything. So we're going to get on to that. But um, let me see. So right now me and her are going to like give you guys a brief thing. of She's going to ask me some questions about me. I'm going to ask her some questions about her, about us being, about her, you know, it's not too many fathers out there that have a daughter. I have full custody of my daughter. So blessed, so happy. I thank the Lord every day that I'm alive to share the moments with her and pray for many, many, many more years. Want to get old and see her grow and see everything I worked so hard for and to see it, um, See and see what happens in life with me and my daughter. So, just like I said, it's not a lot of people. It's not a lot of people. It's not a lot of men that have full custody of their daughter, and it's not a lot of daughters that have um, who have a father that has full custody of them. And you know, I'm mom and dad. You know what I'm saying? I don't have I'm I don't have like a a girlfriend or a wife to you know pick up where I left off. Where I leave off is where I pick up. Where I pick off is um, where I pick up. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. So, anyway. So, before we get into these questions that she's going to ask me, I'm going to ask her. Don't forget, to get, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Tell people that you know that don't know about me to watch my channel. Subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. Please. Subscribe to my channel. Please, it's always polite to ask. That's how it's bought up. So if I say please a lot, it's only because you're who make me. And I really appreciate it. And I love all the the feedback, the positive, the negative. I love it. And I love the um, my subscribers, everybody tuning in. Just letting me know that I'm doing what I got to do. So, um, she and her phone that we've been working so... Oh, my gosh. If, if before I get into this, if you guys literally have an Apple phone, oh my gosh, I'm an Android user. I I, I used to love Apple. Um, <laughs> how many Apple phones have I had? Yeah, phones have I had many Apple. Yeah, and Apple has a new thing where it's just like she lost her password. Well, we knew her password, but for some reason we did an update and we um lost the password or the computer went except the password that we were given that we know we had it has a thing called recovery mode where they sent it to a phone number that was last located with your phone anyway long story short that's the only security recovery that apple has and i'm so like mad because it's just like she's been locked out of her phone she can't do the facetime she can't do the i messages we can't play pool one for with one another even if i had an iphone which i did but i sold because i get because apple made me so mad and um <laughs> and um this is a lot of stuff if you have an iphone that you know you can't do if, if you if you don't know the, the password to your id so yeah so she's like searching on apps that she's had pre-installed in already but Hopefully we're gonna get that fixed out. Fix. If not, 
she's going to come over to Android. <laughs> so, so what's some questions you want to ask me as a father? I really don't know. No. Okay. How how is okay? I said up. How is it um having me as a single father? Fun. Why is it fun? I don't know. It's just fun. I mean, what what, what do you like? What do you like? Which college? Like, like, what's a, what's a what, since me? I've been like the only parent in your life. Like, do you miss like not having a mom? Not really. <laughs> okay. Is it like? Do you have like any male, female role models that you substitute? Basically, what a mom? Mom. What is it? Mom is tell me. Uh, my auntie. Yeah. So it's my sister that you guys see on my videos all the time. She's been the female role model in her life, and my my mother has is her grandmother. So, but she refers when she when you hear her sometimes in video say "moms." That's my sister, and um, uh, yeah, my mom, my sister helped me show me the way to raising a daughter, and I really appreciate it. And it's all cool. So, um, I. Thumbs up to them. Yeah, I really, because, you know, without them, I really, I mean, I knew some things to do, but not a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, but they helped me do it in a way. So, what's the question you want to ask me? Like, as a father, like, what everybody to know? Like, even for, like, the single fathers out there who don't have, like, who, you know what I'm saying? Who have children that don't by themselves. So, some, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop bunning. Go ahead. Um. What, what is it? So, what? Let me see something I can ask. So, do you um? Do you ever think it's um uncomfortable like having a father and you don't have the mother there? Not really. Right. <laughs> <laughs> is it like? Is it like some girl things that I don't that you're like don't ask me that you rather ask moms or some other female? Probably so, yeah. <laughs> Any that you want to share? No. <laughs> okay, this this has turned into me just asking a question because he just <laughs> not. <nah. laughs> okay. Oh um. What is um uh, um. What is God? What is it? So, oh, so one thing I want to address is like me, like as I show you the gifts, like. I'm so thankful. I'm so blessed that every year, and I'm 37, and I pray to be like 100 years old, and I'm so blessed to like when I, what about when I, each year holidays have came, and I have always got you all these big presents, like, have you ever like wondered or ever like, I mean, I know you know that I get you the gifts, <laughs> but do you ever like, do you, she, <laughs> she's so silly, she knows, she's, I'm not going to spoil for other kids out there, but. Yeah. She knows. Um, so, oh my God, it's so cold out here. My nose is like dripping. So, <laughs> they kind of already did. No, so, so, not that. So, I mean, do you, no, for real, do you like get back to like, okay, so like when it's like, when I buy you all these presents, do you be like, gosh, my dad, like, he does all this? Do you ever think about that? Yeah. Like that, I mean, what do you like, what do you like um, think about when you see all these presents? Do you, are you like happy that I work so hard to do all this or what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Come on, be serious. I know. I mean, you're not gonna be too serious, but I mean, like, <laughs> she's so she she she's being I don't know being weird. <laughs> but okay, so um, oh, oh my God. okay, so tell them about a day in the life of like me and you, like when we get like how does our day go? Tell tell them like a day. From like a single father and a daughter, ask them how that how that is. Normally, I'm lazy. No, for real. So I get up and then take it from there. And then you wake me up, and then I eat, and then I do my schoolwork. Okay, and you don't you you do your schoolwork because you're in what? Homeschool. And what's the name of your homeschool? Uh, the Man Academy. Okay, and she does homeschool because. As a single father out there, which big, like my sister um, is a certified teacher, and um, go check her out on her YouTube. Cha- uh, her YouTube, she got an Instagram, uh, Marin Academy. 
Um, I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the descriptions for um, her her website that she that she has for um, teaching kids. And it's oh, trust me, she's eleven, going to be twelve, and she's been doing it in phenomenal job, and it's great, and it's just only been getting better. So she does homeschool, and it it works out to my benefit because. For so long, it's like you know how if you have like a a wife or girlfriend, like they take the slack, and it's like, hey, if you if you're at work, they'll pick them up, vice versa, and all that. Not for me. So it's like when I go to work, <laughs> I you know what I'm saying I have help, but I guess it's, I don't know if it's just the man in me or whatever. I'm too prideful, but it's just like everybody will always be asking, like, what do people ask you about when you're in homeschool, like? Uh. They say I'm smart. Yeah, but I mean, what's like the negative or the stuff the stuff people think like that that's weird about you being a homeschool? Why aren't you a homeschooler? Like, this is a lie, but like something like that. Yeah, like they be thinking like, oh my god, and she's like, is is are you afraid to? I mean, are you like you don't get um what is it like exes of mine used to say like um you don't get no um you don't be around a lot of friends or, or something like that, and it's like. She be she's around my she's around my nephews which are in homeschool too but you know it's other things than being in school when you're in homeschool I mean you go to the rec center you it's, it's so many kids that are in homeschool right now it's crazy that it's just like school's not the only place you can find friends <laughs> so and then um so how do you like homeschool? It's fun. It's fun? Yeah. Do you, like, learn a lot? I mean... Yes. Okay. What's the benefits of being a homeschool? That you can stay home. You get to have food. Just go around and get you. And mm-hmm. you get to do schoolwork in your pajamas. And your pajamas? <laughs> okay. And then, so, what's some... Tell us some, like, stuff that you've been working on in homeschool. Uh, longitude and latitude. And math. We're doing, ti- we're doing times. Oh, okay. All right. So, what's your favorite subject? Mm, science. Okay. What's your least favorite? History. History? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. When I was in school, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like. I don't know if I. I, I like. Well, I think my best. Subject. Art. <laughs> wow, that's just so it was the easiest thing, but I think my least favorite was yeah, I think it was history, social studies. That's what we used to call it. So, get it back to how it works out for me is just like when I go to work, and you know I can know that you know what I'm saying I don't have to be rushing back to her school. Not to say it's a cop out for me to be like, oh well, you know what I'm saying like like let her shrug, let let her um not learn why I work or whatever, but it's just like, it's the benefit of homeschool is, is one-on-one. She learns how to do, you know, her, she, she has one-on-one with the teachers, with her schoolwork. Um, yeah, she, um, it, sometimes it could be, well, I wouldn't even say it's all bad because it's like, it's, it's, it works out for the children. Like, it's just like, you know, as long as you, as long as you have like a schedule with them, and it, and and it's basically an open field right there. Like, I mean, she can get up like in the morning and do her schoolwork, or she can wait till nighttime and do her schoolwork. Like, it, it's vice versa. And um, I, I don't know. I, I've been loving it. Like, I mean, it, it really works, and I, I can't stress it enough again because it just, it really works. Like. You know, I don't have to stress about, oh, man, I got to leave work. And then, you, it, you know, if you got a job and you know how hard it is to just be like, man, I got to leave. I got to leave work because then you get in trouble for your job. And then you get ridden up and then you get fired and all this stuff. And then they'll be asking you all these questions. It's just better when you chat when they're in homeschool and you know that they're safe and they're and you know where they're at. And it's all good, though. So I like that. So <laughs> that's. That, that's what she does, and then after homeschool, what do you? And then what, what do we? What's going on? What we do after that? I play games. What do you play? I play Sims. Okay, and then we'll do. And then she has chores. Where? How many times do you have to keep your room clean? 
Every day. Because I got a little bit of OCD. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. And then, um, what do you, and then, um, she like, you know, you just like said she plays her games and then she gets ready for bed and she does it all over again and that's her day to day life. I mean, unless we, we have times where we go shopping or we do here and there type of things, whatever. And then we just think of like, our new thing that we've been doing is we've been, um, thinking of these new like YouTube things and it's like I know it started off with my YouTube when I was just doing like reviews on like tech cell phones and all this stuff and I know I um I evolved into doing different things and um so that's when my family wanted to join in and do it with me and that's why we think of the new things to do so <laughs> so um what, so she's over here playing on what's that Snapchat or your yes. phone or Instagram. She loves Instagram. But it doesn't take over her whole life of doing things. Luckily, I have a great daughter, and you know what I'm saying? I gotta say that she puts school first, right? Yay. And she and she doesn't get addicted to nothing, and it was kind of weird, because what were you saying about... She told me one day about her being... Uh, she didn't want to play... Sims and Sims is her favorite game. If you got kids out there, if you're a grown up, because I know a lot of grown grown ups that play Sim, she knows that she's like she she doesn't ever want to get herself addicted to something, so she'll lean off of it. What'd you say about Sims that one time about being addicted? So if I play Sims too much, then every day I want to play Sims. So what do you do to avoid being addicted to it? Only play Sims on weekends. Yep. So Sometimes. it's just like something. It's just like. I feel so happy when my daughter can, when she, when I know that she's on a good path in life that, you know, when addiction can lead to other things when you get older, like drugs and just bad things, at least I know that I'm doing the right thing to let her think of her, think of her own. And I always have an open door where she can talk to me about anything. And just to let me, just to let her know, like, I know games ain't like that bad right now. But it's an open door for other things that could be addicting that she's just like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to put school first and I want to concentrate on school. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like, she knows from right from wrong. So that's cool. So um, I'm trying to think about what else. So anyway, so that's, I think we talked enough about me and her all the time and all the stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know what we've been up to, wanted to um, put it out there, and we are going to um, be cooking up another video, another rap video, um, thanks to uh, my sister out there, I'm talking about, uh, um, Melody, She, you know what I'm saying, she's the one who thought about it, we're going to put it on here, we're going to get this stuff all crackled down, Um and I said crack on that. We'll get this stuff all cooked up. Get ready for y'all for the next rap video. And we appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, listening to our life to life, daily life. And um, we'll catch you again. And this is EJ, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. But we'll see you out again. All right. Okay, Google. Resume that Christmas song. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. <laughs> wow, it didn't really play like that. Okay, Google. Christmas songs. And have a good Christmas, too. Sure, here's Christmas songs. Hey there, welcome to Christmas songs. <laughs> what song would you like to play? Oh my god. Anyone. Say that again. Any <laughs> Christmas songs. Let's go with Up on the Housetop. Okay. <laughs> well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't supposed to go like that. I thought she was going to be like fantastic when she did it. But anyway. Um, I know all y'all out there around the world are getting your Christmas gift for you and your children. And a Merry Christmas to y'all. And we're going to be back with more videos. And appreciate you tuning in. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And you know, EJ, Uno, you know, preach y'all, give me that thumbs up. I'll be back. <laughs>